Today, we're going to be going over the alignment tool. We're just going to jump in and make something. We're going to make a planet with a ring around it. So I'm going to drag a sphere out there, and I want to make it a little bigger. So I'm going to scale it up. To scale it up, with your left hand, click Shift and hold it. With your right hand or your mouse hand, you are going to drag one of these corner nodes, the little square things, and drag it. And that makes it bigger in all directions, not just one. Because if you don't click shift, it, it looks weird. I'm happy with that. Now to make my ring, I'm also going to use a sphere. But I'm going to squish it down and stretch it out. Call that good. I want my ring to be yellow. Planet's going to be red. My goal here is to put the ring exactly around the center of my of my planet and if you look at it from all angles look at that. I'm way off I'm way too high if I look at it from this angle I'm even more off look at that I want the distance between my planet and the edge of my ring to be the same all the way around and you could come in here and use your arrow keys or maybe even drag it with your mouse and, and you might be able to center it like that I know just from looking at it, it's perfectly centered you might not get that lucky um, and if you're making a, a part that has to be very accurate, very specific, you don't want to rely on just your eye. You want to rely on the tools that Tinkercad gives you. So that tool that we're going to be using today is the alignment tool. And that is this thing up here. You're going to notice if you try to click on it, no matter how many times you click on it or how hard you click on it, nothing will happen until you select more than one shape. So to select more than one shape, you are left clicking and dragging that creates this selecting square and put both shapes that you want to align in that square then let go now we can click our alignment tool and i'm going to explain what all these lines and dots mean uh, to like an elementary schooler slash up to like a middle schooler hopefully everyone can understand what i'm talking about this line right here and the dots along it allow us to move or align our shapes from right to left or on the X axis. These dots over here allow us to move our shapes or align our shapes forward and backwards. That is our X axis. This line right here going up and down allows us to align our shapes in the up and down direction or on our Z axis. So here's what we want to do. We want to center our shapes, meaning stick the centers of them together on all axes or in all directions. So we're going to click the center circle on all of our lines or on all of our axes. And I know it's perfectly centered when all my center dots are shaded. I can double check, look at it from the bottom, from the top, from the side. Looks good. It's great. 100% that's what we want. 